guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a hair care video slash styling video. Um, I don't go into too much depth about how I style my hair. So if you want to see that, then let me know um, because I can definitely do that, especially these pesky bangs, which do look a little bit crazy at the moment. Um, but I've literally just, just done them, which is why. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I keep my hair healthy and and how I go from this dull, greasy hair to this much brighter and shinier and overall healthier hair, then just keep watching. So obviously, as well as getting uh, regular haircuts, which I did do before COVID, obviously you can't really do that as much anymore. Um, but as well as doing that, I am just gonna show you the products that I use and you may or may not find this interesting also stick around to the end because i am going to do a little giveaway so exciting the first thing i do i try to not wash my hair too often i used to wash it every other day i now try and push it to kind of every three days um and even longer if i can but but i do look like you could fry an egg on my hair by the end of the third or fourth day um dry shampoo is my best friend i use the batiste just the, I'm sure everyone knows what it is, just the regular Batiste one. You can get it for a couple of pounds. I like it. It gets me through that second to third day and sometimes that third to fourth day if I can push it. Um, and my hair is definitely getting better at waiting longer. So you just have to kind of train it. Um, but I'm just going to show you what I do do to my hair on the days that I wash it. So the shampoo and conditioner that I have been re that I have recently been using which I love and are, li which I really like and are literally nearly completely empty. Don't you find everything runs out at the same time because literally all these products I'm about to show you, not all of them, but most of them are empty and I need new ones. <laughs> so that's annoying, but still shows I like it, I suppose. So I've been using the Redkin um, Fifth Avenue. This is just the all soft mega shampoo and conditioner quite a long time you really don't need a lot with these products i've really enjoyed they don't do anything for like blonde hair or brown hair or anything these ones are literally just for severely dry hair which i needed because i tried to bleach my own hair and um i needed to get it back in good condition which i've done quite a good job at to be fair so yeah i highly recommend this brand if i put oils in my hair overnight then i will shampoo twice um, before I condition or if it is particularly greasy sometimes I do shampoo twice I really like to get in there give myself a good head massage um, just to make sure you know I'm cleaning the scalp as well as the hair um, so yeah and occasionally I will use a um, brightening shampoo or a purple shampoo just to tone my hair a little bit. My favorite one, I haven't got it on me because again, it's run out. My favorite one is Fanola No Yellow. I've used Osmo as well, which is good. Um, and I've used the, I don't know what it is, but it's the little ones in the purple bottles. They're not very expensive. Um, I've used them as well. Don't really like those ones, but Fanola No Yellow, I got for about 14 pounds. You only need the shampoo. I don't think you, a toning conditioner makes much of a difference, but. I will use that in the shower or in the bath normally if I was going somewhere so before an occasion and it would completely re bring back the blonde in my hair like if it was ever looking dull I would just put that on leave it for like a couple of minutes it does stay in your hands um, and you don't want to leave it on too long because it will make your hair purple but it would literally it could honestly transform my hair it would make me look like I, my hair was freshly done um and i adore the finale no yellow so i highly recommend i will link it below because obviously i don't have it here to show you but yeah i swear by that product if you are blonde and you like to be an icy silvery blonde definitely recommend so after i've shampooed and occasionally toned i'll go in with the red conditioner and i'll just leave that in my hair for literally a couple of minutes and then every single time i use a conditioning mask I don't know if this is good for your hair or not to use this every single time, but like I said, I only wash my hair every three sort of days. Um, and my one I've been using at the moment is the Garnier Ultimate Blends. 
everyone raves about the Garnier banana one as well. I don't like bananas, so I haven't used that one, but this one is really good. Again, I think it's just a couple of pound in savers. Take a scoop full of that and I just run it through the ends. Go into my hair with the, that or anything um, because it will make my hair look greaser if I do that. Um, so, yeah, I just run that through the ends and then again I leave that for a minute or so. And then I have this wet brush uh, wide tooth comb. So, I have recently this year started brushing my hair while it's wet in the shower with the conditioner in because it makes such a difference. Uh, if I don't do this, I spend literally about 20 minutes trying to brush through my knotty wet hair because it gets so knotty with the bleach. Um, so you might not need to do this step if you already have pretty um, soft, unproblematic hair. Um, but I cannot miss this step because it saves me a lifetime um, after the shower. So yeah, literally just use this brush. I just run it through, starting from the ends up to the top. I just brush it all the way through my hair. This also runs the conditioner through and makes sure, you know, you get all your paces. I do do up here as well, um, but it's a very thin amount of conditioner that I'll then be just running through the top, whatever's just on the brush. I just start from the bottom, brush through, all the knots are done, and then I wash all the conditioner out. And I still have the Redken on then as well. So I brush both the conditioners out after I've brushed. And then that is pretty much everything for the shower. Once I get out of the shower, I do use like a little microfiber head towel. Um, I know microfiber is a lot better for your hair than regular towel. I think it just helps to prevent break breakage. Um, don't quote me on this. I'm not a hairdresser, I'm not a professional, um, but I use one just because why not? If they say it's better, I use it. I have a towel on and then I come into my dressing room. And the first thing I normally do after I've taken my hair out of the towel is use the Tresemme care and protect um heat protectant i never ever ever used to use heat protectant what an idiot like it literally takes two seconds to spray to spray this on your hair i just do it while it's wet because i find it easier because then i can brush it through and uh, make sure it's all covered and then when i blow dry it it's protected or whatever i do style it whatever i spray that through my hair and then i have been using recently a leave-in conditioner this one is just from john frieda frizzies um, I don't always use this if my hair's feeling particularly dry, then I will use this as well on top of the heat defense. Um, but recently I've actually been missing this step. So I wouldn't say it's massively important. It used to be for me when I didn't brush my hair, when I didn't comb through my hair in the shower, I would not honestly be able to get a brush through it without some kind of leave-in conditioner. Um, so I would say it's a must in them cases. If you have extremely knotty hair, then maybe. But I've been missing this step recently because I have replaced it with this oil. So this is the Olaplex um, number seven bonding oil. It's just this little small bottle. As you can see, I've barely used any of it, but I really, really like it. Um, you literally need like the smallest drops ever. I think I did film a clip of me using it and I showing you the drops, but literally three tiny, tiny drops and you just run it through your hair and you can barely like feel it in your hair, which I love because I hate my hair feeling oily and looking greasy like straight away. Um, but I really like it. I've used it three or four times and I've really noticed a difference from the other oil that I was using. Before I was using just a castor oil, um, which I got off Amazon, which I did like, but it just didn't give the same soft, shiny feel. But this I've been using after every time I wash my hair and I highly recommend, I really, really like it. Oh, just dropped it on the floor. So once I've put all them products through my hair, I will use this wet brush again. It's from the same make as the comb. I recently got this for Christmas as well um, because I mentioned in my what I got for Christmas video that I wanted to try and help my hair um, get even healthier. And before I would just use a regular brush and I felt like it was um, breaking some of my ends. So I have opted for this wet brush now as it is better for when your hair is wet and in a more fragile I really state. like that. I just brush again from bottom to top. That's a really good step as well. Definitely um, brush from the bottom to the top of your hair because that prevents breakage and not. So just br brush all my products through with that. And then normally I will grab my hair dryer and I will just blow dry my solely my roots. Um, I find this helps my hair last a little bit longer. Um, grease wise if I 
um, blow dry my roots rather than letting it air dry. I don't know what the difference is, um, but it seems to make a difference to me. So yeah, I'll just blow dry my roots and um, sometimes I'll run it through my hair a little bit as well just to get the dampness off. And then if I am doing anything or I want to style it for a particular reason, then I've recently been using this Revlon airbrush. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this yet. I did use it in the um, clips that I'm going to add into this video so you can see the results there. Um, but it did drop pretty quick. However, I said sleep in it in the video and I didn't. I took it out after a couple of hours. So maybe if I was to sleep in it, use this, put it in pink curls and put it in pink curls and sleep with it, it would last longer because I did like the results um, when I took it out, but it just didn't last. And then I went to bed anyway. So I love it for volume. It definitely adds volume. It's good for my bangs. Um, and obviously it's helpful to use less heat because you're only using the hairdryer and the like styling in one rather than blow drying it and then curling it um but for curling i'm not sure yeah so i just wanted to show you um what my pink curls look like and there's me telling you go to sleep even though i didn't actually do that because i was impatient um so i'm just taking them out and i did show you the finished look I think it does look really, really nice, but yeah, obviously it didn't last, but maybe if I hairsprayed it and actually slept in it, it would have worked. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. If I wasn't doing anything, I would just um, blow dry my roots and then let the rest of it air dry. That is what I do with my hair. Again, if you want to see how I style my bangs or my hair, whatever, let me know. I did briefly touch on it in this video, but if you want a more in-depth tutorial, then yeah, just comment down below. Let's move on to the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away one of the Olaplex oils because it's probably one of my favourite products in this pile and I think it'll be the one that benefits um, one of you guys the most. So this is what I'm going to be giving away. If you want to win it, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, follow me on Instagram and like this video and my most recent photo on Instagram and comment down below on this video or on my last Instagram post. It doesn't matter which one you do. If you do both, that'll be a bonus entry. Um, and if you share it to your Instagram story, that will also be another bonus entry just to increase your chances of winning. So I'm going to announce the winner in my next video next Sunday. So you have a week to enter. Good luck. Have lovely weeks and I will see you again soon. Bye.